once you create a user it will not be having any permission means even that particular user will not be able to log in so in this particular video we'll see how can we start assigning some uh, permissions to a user so here we will use the grant command in order to provide any access or any permission to the user and we will see like how can we grant them the access for accessing a table or creating a table and something more like that so let's see how to manage the user access so here right now i have connected myself as a user system so for that i can show you like show user you can see like user is system and now i'll start giving the permissions to the user anadi which i have created in the previous video so here what i'll do i'll use the grant statement which is nothing but a dcl that is data control language in order to assign in order to grant or revoke some permissions from a user now here the major uh, or the primary thing is like i'll assign the permission of create session because without this the user anadi or any other user can't even do the login apart from that i can assign some most privileges and whatever privileges i am assigning right now is the system privileges means i am assigning the privilege for all the uh, ddl statements that a user can do like he can create a table he can create a view he can create a synonym or sequence or anything all right so let's assign at least for the synonym and then after the username all right if you want to assign the same privilege to the multiple user you can just separate the different username by separating with the comma or you can simply say a role name which i will cover in the next video or you can say it to public means all the users which are there in the database would be having the privileges but i'll not use to public here i will use to for a specific user that is anadi so you can see the permission is granted and now if i'll disconnect from here and will try to connect as anadi now i can do that so here you can see the password username is entered and now i can connect as anadi all right show user and here it will show you the username as well but if i'll try to do any operation like if i want to select any data i will not be able to get that for example if i'll say select asterisk from departments all right since departments is a table i will not be able to get that basically that departments table is there in the uh, systems schema so for that i'll have to write system dot departments but still he will not be able to get that because system user or any particular admin has not granted anadi to access that table so let's disconnect from here again and let's reconnect using the system account so system and the password now let's clear the screen and now i'll start assigning the object privileges object privileges means you are assigning the accessibility for any particular object that is view or table or anything as we have already covered views so if you want you can assign the access to the views only for any specific user here i will again use grant statement that is for assigning the command then after i'll say grant select on departments to anadi all right so here you can see grant succeeded apart from that if you want you can also assign the permission for insert update on departments to anadi all right if you want to assign uh, the permission for update you can also specify the specific columns which you want a user to update for example anadi can update the department uh, department name and location only department name i don't want anadi to update the department id or location id or the manager id for a specific department so on departments to anadi and here uh, all right name and i also want to assign the permission for deletion so here you can see grant succeeded so these are all the object privileges by the time you are assigning these privileges to a user you can also use the option that is with grant option as soon as you will use these three words that means 
anadi now itself can provide these privileges to some other users all right means now anadi can also behave as a grantee for these permissions so here you can see if i am using with grant option i can allow other users for search permissions you can only use with grant options for the object privileges not for the system privileges so now let me disconnect from here and let's uh, reconnect using user anadi tutorials is the password and now let's try to select the data from system dot departments and now here you can see i am able to get that now if i don't want to write all these things again that is uh, the schema name then departments means the table name i can create a synonym for that as well which we have already covered so create synonym that is dpt for system dot departments all right as you can see the synonym is created and now if i'll say select asterisk from dpt i'll get the same thing so uh, this is how you can create a user you can provide some permissions to that particular users make sure if you want to uh, revoke some permissions you can revoke only such permissions which you have ever granted for example let me disconnect again from here let me connect it as system user and here uh, i want like i want to revoke some particular uh, things like revoke create views from anadi all right so basically while assigning i did not provided this permission to the user anadi all right so missing or invalid privilege so i can't revoke that but if i want i can revoke create table privilege from the anadi because this is what i have granted similarly i can revoke the object privileges as well like revoke delete on departments from anadi all right and here you can see revoke succeeded so this is how you can start dealing with the user privileges